Hey everybody, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Thomas and I am the owner of Epitome of Excellence Designs and Decor, otherwise known as or referred to as EOE. Y'all see my new shirt? My wife just made it this morning, literally. We went and got them yesterday. We wanted to try something different, like a collar shirt, look a little bit more professional. Now, I ain't throwing with my t-shirts now. But I like the feel of this, you know, when you show up. But I might have <laughs> gave myself a double negative because I got on shorts. But I think I still look pretty decent. Um, I don't have a color specifically for my business. It's not like black or, I mean, I just get whatever shirt I like and I go from there. But anyway, um, as you can see from the thumbnail of this video, this is um, like an all black affair. Um, it's a retirement party for a three-peat. Like um, in the previous event, a three-peat, which is the third time that client has booked me. Um, she booked me for two baby showers last year and this year she's booking me for her own personal retirement party um i think she does events or i think she does a little decorating herself because when she initially booked me she had bought balloons and stuff and she was like you know what i don't want to go through the house to love it i'd rather just pay somebody to do it and i think most people who have tried the diy route or who can do it really like to pay for the convenience of it. That's why when it comes to doing these events, um, I offer pretty much everything like the silverware outside of the food and the treats and stuff so they can get different vendors to handle that. Um, but this event is um, or was set up for uh, 50 people um, and she wanted a cocktail style so I have some cocktail tables that I'm going to be using. I have one in my inventory and then the venue that I'm using is um, giving us three. So we're gonna work with what we have concerning that. I love use, I love decorating at this venue because me and the owner have a very good relationship. She, sometimes if she doesn't have an event, she'll let me come in a day early, decorate, and come and pick up my stuff at my leisure if she doesn't have an event the following day. Um, I think she had an event last night, so she may be cleaning. The time is now 10 o'clock a.m. Um, so she may be clean and in a minute I'm gonna drop my kids off, go get breakfast, and then I'll figure out what time I can come in and set up. The event doesn't start until six o'clock, so I have ample time. And I need to not spoil myself because I don't want to move like a turtle and then run out of time or run into issues. So I'm gonna set it up with the same sense of urgency that I would in an event where I only have two and a half or three hours to set up. I do have a new feature chair. I call them feature chairs because every event is not going to get a throne chair. They might get wicker chairs. They might get the egg chairs. But I do have a new feature chair. Um, I don't think she wants a head table. I'm not sure. But I think to be on the safe side, I'm going to set up one kind of on the side. But she wants to celebrate retirement. She's not wanting to celebrate herself. But I do have a velvet love seat that I found on Amazon for $400. Now, I found the same chair on Wayfair for I think $369. It was free shipping. And I was uh, scrolling on Facebook when I saw it. And I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna order this. But when I went to order it, the price was like four something. So I weighed my options and I found it on Amazon for roughly 400 and then it was taxes to like 430 I think. And that shipped for free and it came in like three days. So I have that. I have not made the centerpieces or anything like that. I am gonna do feather centerpieces <clears throat> with my gold vases or trumpet vases. I did play around with that. I like it. I just need to make it a little bit fuller. And those feathers alone, I think I ordered, I can't remember, was it 200 feathers? Cost me $500, $490 and some change. So it's stuff like that that plays a factor in your overhead. So. And for the people that keep asking me, how much do you charge for events? What would you charge? I cannot tell you what you would charge for an event because you have to go in and do your own research with what material you'll use, where's the location, how many guests you're setting up for, will you need extra people to help you out during the event so you have to pay those people if they're not volunteers. I can't tell you what to charge for your area because the demographic area plays a lot. I live in North Carolina in the Charlotte metropolitan area probably would charge way more than what I would charge for an event because of the cost of living, the salaries, the average salaries. It's just a whole lot that plays into it. So I can't tell you, 
I can't really advise you on it. It's what you, you know, if your desire is to make just enough to get inventory, then that's what you do. If your desire is to get enough to have extra income on top of what you already make in your nine to five, that's up to you. Or if you decide to make this a full-time thing, that's completely up to you. So right here, we'll just go ahead and switch over to um, the second half of this video. Before we do so, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Click the notification bell so you get notified when I upload videos. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all stay tuned for the rest of this video.
Oh